Hey y'all. What's up? I'm Meg. I know. And this is Life, Life with Mimo. Today is uh, Wednesday? Yes. Wednesday, December the 11th. We just uploaded our day 11 video featuring our mommy kins. We love you, Flea. And now we are on our way to Publix. Morgan has got to my apartment. We are supposed to be doing cooking with Meg tonight, and I'm supposed to be making spaghetti. Something basic that uh, little kids can make. So if I can make it, the little kids can definitely <laughs> make it. But um, I'm currently sick right now. I'm on antibiotics and I really should have ate about two hours ago because my stomach is starting to hurt me and it is past time to eat. So we're about to try to hurry up, run in public. We just got to get ground beef and corn. We eat corn with spaghetti. Apparently, everybody don't do that. Comment down below <laughs> if you eat corn with just spaghetti because I love it. Uh, Morgan, you guys need to say in the intro? Yes, I have on these same blue sweats. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been at work for eight hours. <laughs> she living in sweat. They're comfy. That's a noble I have them in the uh, like mocha color, but honestly, I didn't gain weight since I bought them. I can't fit anything but the top now. Oh, I had a, I had on the top in like the vlogs when it was in Auburn. But yeah, that's it. We're about to run in Publix. I'm not gonna record in Publix because it's dark outside. We're just gonna run in, run out, and then we'll pick back up in the kitchen cooking the spaghetti. See y'all. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all in the next clip. This is extremely awkward. I have never in my life got filmed really doing anything, especially not cooking. So y'all don't judge me. I already got the water boiling because me and Morgan trying to figure out how we was going to do this. I'm about to put some olive oil in here because you don't want the noodles to stick. And then I'm gonna put some salt in here. I'm use, I use pink Himalayan salt whenever I cook. Bougie. But I'm going to put the salt here because if you don't salt the water, then the noodles not going to be that seasoned. That should be enough. I don't cook heavily with salt. It irritates my mom and them. But I just don't care to have that much salt in my stuff. And I'm going to stir it all around a little bit because it's almost done boiling. I'm going to throw the noodles in there. I am no chef. I just cook to get it done, okay? Like, don't judge me too harshly. Now I put a little bit of olive oil in here. And then some <clears throat> minced garlic. Hey, I just get this out of Walmart. Shout out to the camera girl. Morgan's here. Say hi, Morgan. Hi, everyone. <laughs> you can't see me. I'll just put some of that in there. Now, I will use some strong garlic. Oop. Oops. I got some on my eye. I love garlic. Then, okay, kids. <clears throat> Raw meat. Don't touch it. <laughs> Ew. I Actually, y'all, I just started cooking meat, like, for real this past year. Like I said, in the intro q and I was dating somebody, and so I kind of had to learn how to cook, like, real meals. <laughs> and um, I'm still extremely uncomfortable with raw chicken. Ew. hate it. Ew, but I'm okay with this type of stuff now. And right now I got nails, and this is just all bad. So, like I just told the kids, don't touch it. And I always wash my hands afterwards because I just assume that I probably touched it. I'm just going to use this, and I'm not going to use it. Well, what I usually... The no, nice. I use the wooden ones. I was about to say, what I... Yeah, I'm not going to use it. I use this to do the meat, so I'm just going to use that to slide it. Well, actually not slide. I'm going to drop it. Probably one of the safest. And you know what I just thought about? You know they be having them little packs on the bottom. Y'all make sure y'all check that before you just throw it in there. <laughs> Don't be like me. Oh, and you might want to turn the stove on. So, I had turned on all the other eyes. I hadn't turned that one on. So, I'm going to let that start browning. I'm going to throw this away. 
and we'll be back in a minute okay. all right y'all so morgan got these from my mama house we have the bodies thanks mom it's thin spaghetti it's going to take six to seven minutes to cook uh al dente sometimes i break them but i'm not doing that tonight i'm gonna just put them in there we're gonna use all the noodles because i'm trying to have leftovers for work y'all can hear the meat cooking i need to stir it And then I use my. Ooh. Oh! It's a mess! It's a mess! <laughs> I'm pushing all these down because you want them to start cooking at the same time. And usually I'd be like, Morgan, help me. Because I'm not good with the multitasking aspect of cooking. I'm still learning. And this meat popping, I need to turn down. Pause video for a second. Y'all getting overwhelmed. This gotta cook boil for six to seven minutes. Yeah, and I don't want to cover it completely because then you know I start bubbling. That makes me uneasy. I had to turn this down because it was doing too much. But now we're gonna finish seasoning this, so you can see it's starting to brown. Uh, Morgan got a timer on her phone for the. Uh, see, it's already bubbling, make me anxious. She got a timer on her phone for the noodles. Gabby told me this cool trick. You throw it on the uh, cabinet, and if it stick, they done. Mm. So, salt. Ground peppercorn. This is like real pepper, y'all. So, it's strong. It's real strong. <laughs> but I love my little, uh, whatever you call these things. And I just buy the refills from Wally World. Then I'm going to do some... That's what I didn't have. I don't care I got no garlic powder. Onion powder is my favorite seasoning. Mm. <laughs> I'm Look, I'm heavy-handed with everything but salt. I don't know why that is. Then we're going to put some mixed onion in there. Because your girl not going to chop and slice. No real onions. I only do that if it's like I'm really trying to impress somebody. And it's just me and Morgan. So I'm not... Then some Italian seasoning. I put more Italian seasoning in at the end once I got the red sauce on the meat. It smell good, Morgan. Mm -hmm. All right, them noodles really boiling. Ooh, okay. So remember, you're browning it. You don't want no red meat. You get sick from uncooked meat. What you get from uncooked meat? E. coli. I'm not doing it. Is it E. coli? I think it. I don't know. You can get E. coli from lettuce too, though. I don't know. You get salmonella from eggs, right? So I keep Clorox wipes on deck in the kitchen because I just don't have time for nothing crazy. Cross contamination, none of that. I'm very, very cautious of all of that. But you just want to make sure you. Um, I don't know cooking terms. I don't know. I just be like making sure the meat getting smaller in size and it's not like no big old chunks in there because this was ground chuck that i used anyways not really sure what that means <laughs> oh well oh yeah so how many how many more minutes left on the noodles y'all i was getting so overwhelmed with the noodles boiling and this oh, meat wow. frying like that i was like we're gonna turn the camera off <laughs> and we do the corn and the bread last because the corn only takes like a second to heat up clearly because it's already cooked corn in the pan and then the bread only takes five or six minutes so i probably could go ahead and preheat the oven more what the bread supposed to be on uh, yeah. all right y'all so we just preheated the oven to 425 we are making texas roadhouse bread to have with the spaghetti um it's the five cheese kind it's some that i already had in my freezer you open the new box Oh, just kidding. We just bought a new box today because Morgan swore I didn't have none in there, but I knew I did. She usually don't have <laughs> So we just opened a new box. It's three cheese. The just bread kidding. is the best part. Publix brand because I didn't even want to buy new bread today. Just feeling some type of way about that. Okay, here's the thing. I could probably add the red sauce now, but I, I don't want to say I overcooked my meat, but it'd be done done because I'm just not taking no chances. So once that gets done preheated, we're going to put the bread in there. Them noodles almost done. The noodles is done i bet this hot yeah it is not supposed to be i use my little pot stickers that's what you call them i'm gonna take them off this hot eye and then 
Once they cool off, I'm going to re reach in there and grab one and make sure it's done. <laughs> and we, just for fun, just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to throw one on the thing and make sure it sticks for y'all. But now, um, this meat is definitely brown. I'm about to add this red sauce in here. Prego traditional. Nothing's better than Prego. Woo! Sometimes we fancy and we get the, uh, you know, the extra stuff. We didn't do that today. The, um, like Prego with meatballs or Prego with tomato and basil or, pre you know, extra with Parmesan. Hopefully that's enough because I didn't buy two. I was really going to be in cheap today. Like, I hate overbuying food because it's just me here and... It's already enough spaghetti when we do it this way. So, yay. Now we got red meat sauce for our spaghetti. I'm going to finish turning everything around and around. So, my pans are non-stick. They are the Aisha Curry ones. I love Aisha Curry. So, when she came out with these and I moved out, I was like, give me some Aisha Curry pans. <laughs> and since it's non-stick, it be, like, creeping me out sometimes how the stuff be sitting in the um, pans. Like, this meat, it ain't going to stick to the pan because it's non-stick. So, it be kind of weird. So, now we have red meat sauce for the spaghetti. Mm, 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 mm. Trey, we hope you are enjoying this video because he said he be messing up his spaghetti every time he try to make it. So, I'm going to just add a little bit. See, this is what I don't like. It start popping and stuff. I get nervous. Stop doing it. Ah! <laughs> so, you got to keep stirring it. It's too hot. I tried to turn it down some. I put a little bit more pepper in there because it's just good. Uh. And then I'm going to do some more Italian seasoning because it's my favorite. And I got Italian seasoning over here in my fancy. Um, can y'all see this? In my fancy seasoning spinner. But I try not to use it that often because I'm probably not going to refill it if I run out of stuff. So we'll be back in a second to test these noodles. All right, y'all. It tastes done, but just for fun, I'm going to throw it up here. Shout out to Gabby. She really had us throw noodles on the door uh, cabinet. If it don't stick, I hate it. Oh, hey. <laughs> so it's done. Look, don't let y'all mama beat y'all butts because you're trying to copy <laughs> me, all right? Make sure you wipe it off. Okay, we're going to drain the water out of here and put the corn in there. We'll be back one last time. Just adding some pepper to the corn. So my mom said I'm supposed to drain the... Uh, vegetables before i just throw them in the uh drain and rinse them before i just throw them in the pot but i don't be doing that y'all be doing that let me know if you be doing that i do it with some stuff like beans like if i'm making taco soup or something you gotta use like two or three different types of beans i'm not pouring beans straight in the pot i just can't do it they be slimy but um yeah mom don't like that i be doing that i think she said the corn is too salty to just be pouring it straight in there you need to rinse some of it off but i don't know I be trying to remember all the stuff she be teaching me, but I, I didn't really pay attention to her when she cooked when we were little. So now it's kind of like crash course, teach me everything you know, and that's not good. So that's going to come up to a um, boil. Make sure I got the right eye on. Just be very aware and cautious when you're cooking because I have had some mishaps. If I'm sure y'all can tell because, I yeah, I've had some mishaps growing up. So if you're going to cook and you're a little kid, just be very cautious and make sure your mom and them nearby and they know what you're doing. Um... So we drained this, left some water at the bottom of the pot. Honestly, don't remember why mom said you gotta do that. I just know that I'm supposed to do that. So everything finishing up. The bread is in there. How long do you think this took us? What you got alarm going off of? I should hit repeat. Okay. How long do you think this took us? 15, 10. I'm getting quicker. It used to take me 30 minutes to make spaghetti. And that's a, that's mm -hmm. unheard of. Yes, it did. Like, y'all, I'm really getting bitter. I'm proud of myself. Um, and I'm gonna have to clean up the kitchen tonight <laughs> for sure because I made a real meal with nothing in the microwave. All right, so bread almost done, corn is heating. Y'all can see that this has just been on low. Make sure everything is done. So we will be back 